All right. Hello, everybody. This is Arwen Lewis. Uh, you just heard my very special guest, Emily Duff, uh, and that was her song, Give Me Back My Love. And uh, we're here talking about her extensive career as a songwriter, touring musician, um, and, you know, a musician of many different genres, including R&B, soul, and uh, punk rock and rock and roll and roadhouse country. <laughs> um, well, here's a question I wanted to ask you. Um how do you compare your experience uh, to watching a live show to your experience performing a show? Oh, it's it's completely different. It's completely different. Yeah. And I'm not even sure I can explain how it's different because it's like one of those, you just have to be inside of it. You know what I mean? Right. Um, it's all respect to whatever I'm watching. And, and you know, obviously I'm quiet. <laughs> and I am a spectator. Um, I'm wrapped up in it. But when I'm on stage, it's it's a completely different thing. You know, it's it's like being a cruise director and knowing what the audience needs and being able to read the room and being able to lead my band. And, you know, you're you wearing five different hats at the same time. And, you you know, you've got you're juggling and you're doing all this stuff. And at the end of the day, you just you just want everybody to enjoy themselves. And do you feel like being a performance musician has an effect on the way you experience a show or maybe not because you've been doing it like your whole life? So that's, you know, just you've always naturally kind of been engulfed in the moment, whether you're performing or watching. Well, the only thing that I can exp that I can kind of compare it to it's it's reverence. So it's when I'm at a show, it's like church. Yeah, you know, it's you know, you're when I'm singing, you know, I'm praying twice. <laughs> yeah. You you know, you're communicating in a way that you know you're hoping that the person that's on stage wants to communicate with you when you're a spectator. Yeah, you know, so I'm going. I'm going to a show to see an artist and receive, you know, and when I'm going to a show as the artist, I'm going to give. Right. I guess those are, that's the basic difference is giving and receiving. Yeah. And I like that, but thank you for explaining that for us. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so why don't we finish up talking about, don't let go. And what's the other album that you're working on? What's that called again? The other one's called The Obvious Invisible. Okay. And, and that so I'm recording here. Don't let go. I've done all the recording already. Um, I'm actually going to do a little bit of overdubs, but most of it uh, was recorded in Detroit. Okay. And uh, the producer is named Bunky Hunt. And um, it's currently being uh, mixed and we're looking at just a few, a few things to go, you know, to do here because okay. there's, there's some backup singers that I really love here. And okay. there's uh, an engineer that I use for mixing okay. here that I want to work on a few of the songs that are a little bit more complex. Okay. Um, and you have quite a, a variety of um, like genres on this album, right? Like, rock anthem folk barn burners gothic murder ballads and soulful love songs is that right that is right <laughs> um so what why is such an eclectic record for this one well at the end of the day it's all really pop music you okay. know what i mean you could put it in those categories i didn't call it that that was you know somebody listened to it and you know that's that that was like a, a first review of the roughs that okay. somebody listened to and said, oh, you know, I'm going to write about this because I want to get a sneak peek at this. And that's how he wrote it up. And I said, oh, OK, that's descriptive and everything. But at the end of the day, they're just they're just well-crafted pop songs. That's what you got out of it, you know. And it, yeah, it's interesting how different people get different things like from what, you know, we create. Right. Or what you create as an artist. Um, yeah. Taste is subjective. Do you hope for that too? Do you like everybody to relate to it in a different way? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I Nobody experiences music in the same way. Just like people, like I used to be a chef and oh. I can't think of any any two disciplines that go more connected and, and symbiotically than food and music because, you know, you just, you can't yuck somebody's yum. You know, people <laughs> like what they like. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you what tastes good because I like it, 
you know, it's like saying liver and onions is the greatest thing in the world. And when you're five years old and your mom puts it on your plate, you go, I'd rather die than eat that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Certain things are acquired taste. I can, I can probably c- cite a few records off my head that top of my head that I thought to myself when I first listened to it, I don't know that I like this record. And then after five listens, I went, oh my God, this is brilliant. I love it. Yeah. And you know, so, so yeah. Like, would you think with like the evolution of yourself as an artist and, you know, after, you know, just continuing to be exposed to different music and creating more and more music, you know, your taste changes too? Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. My taste, I, I'm always changing. I just have to, the only thing I have to do is stay me and yeah. be authentic to who I am and be honest, you know, so I'm going to write what I hear. And the song is going to take me somewhere. And sometimes I'm surprised because I could be writing something that I think is like a lyric that's going to wind up in a blues song. And it winds up in some, you know, R&B tune that sounds a little bit more 60s soul. You know, I mean, it's not it's that's not like across the ocean from each other. You know, it's not like I'm writing, you know, hip hop, but uh there's just something there that 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 can go anyway. You know what I mean? A great song is a great song. You could sing it in any genre, really. Mm-hmm. You know, take the American songbook, take any like Cole Porter tune or, you know, and, and sing it like a punk rock song. And it's probably going to work. Like, do you listen to Social Distortion ever? Sure, of course. So Mike Ness, right? I think he's like yeah. such a good example. Like I've heard him do um what is it? He a Bob Dylan song. Mike last guest had that had played that because he liked that song. And it just made me, I was actually just thinking about that, how cool it is. And that's a tradition of folk music, right? And you're in the heart of that right there in yes. New York City, you know, where yes. all it originated. Um well, how about do you see yourself exploring any genres that you haven't yet in the future? Or did you see did you also and did you see yourself um ending up and evolving in such a vast way when you first started? Um, I always knew that I could take any turn and go flying off any cliff at any moment. You know what I mean? Like I've always been a radical explorer. Like there's the never say never for me. Yeah. So I, yeah, of course I could see myself going into a genre that I never thought I would just because it's an adventure and it's exciting and the song will tell me where to go. I'm, I'm not such a taskmaster that I won't listen. And my, and there's no ego, you know what I mean? Like I will not eat when I was a chef, I, I would never tell people like, you know, you can't put salt on that because I seasoned it perfectly. You know, there was salt on the table. If you want it, use it. I wasn't that chef. You know, so if I wander into a different genre, it's just because I think it's time to go exploring. And what a beautiful note. I mean, this went by too fast, but a beautiful note to end the show on. Um, Well, Emily, thank you so much. I love that. um, I love that uh, metaphor you use between food and music. And thank you for sharing your music with us. And everybody, uh, we're going to take you out of the show with Emily Duff's featured song, Another Goodbye. And again, uh, find her on Facebook under Emily Duff, Instagram at Emily Duff Band 211. And uh, find her merchandise, music, and everything else about Emily on emilyduff.bandcamp.com. And again, Emily, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. All right, everybody. Enjoy. <laughs>